Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today we're going to be doing Group B predictions for Euro 2021. And I just want to mention that yesterday we did Group A predictions, which I recommend you check out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, here we have our full expanded uh, wall chart. And let's zoom into Group B, where we have Denmark, Finland, Belgium, and Russia. Quite a tight group, in my opinion. And let's move on to some, before we get into results, which is how I'm going to place the teams, because I'm going to predict the result for every game. And then from there, we can see uh, the points, and then we can see who goes through. But first, let's go into some team profiles. So team profile number one, we have Belgium, which is ranked number one in the world by FIFA. Uh, manager Roberto Martinez. I've uh, been with them for a good while now. Um, then you can see the, the their latest team on the right. I'm not really going to go into that, but what I will go into is on the left, the recent results. So Denmark is in Belgium's group, and we've seen two recent Belgium-Denmark games, both in which they've won by two. A, a big indicator for later in this video. They beat Iceland 5-1. They lost to England 2-1, but that was at home, granted. They beat England later 2-0. Uh, and some other games, more recent games, we have them beating Wales, them tying against Czech Republic, and them beating Belarus 8-0. Jeez. And then Belgium uh, tied against Greece most recently 1-1. So I would say fairly consistent, but not entirely consistent. There tends to be a lot of goals in their games. They tend not to keep a clean sheet either. So that's something that we should keep in mind. Moving on, we have Denmark's team profile. They are number 10 in the world, according to FIFA, which is surprising to me. I wouldn't think that Denmark was number 10. Um, we can see their team on the right. We have some rising stars like Ericsson um, and Heiberg. Like, I, I know those those guys because they play in England. Um, and Vestergaard. Uh, they, you know, they're they're getting some stars. Polson is also a fantastic player. Um, but let's get into the recent results because that's how I like to make my predictions. Uh, so we saw the game against Belgium. You know, they lost by two both times. They they tied against England. They won one zero over England. Uh, three zero against Iceland. Two one against Iceland. Eight zero against Moldova. Israel Denmark two zero to Denmark. Uh, Austria, Denmark 0-4. Austria is a great team, and Germany 1-1. One, one. So what can I say from these results? I think that says that Denmark is a pretty good team defensively. Maybe they don't score that many goals. Well, they still do, but I think that this looks very similar to Belgium's um, recent results. Maybe even a little more consistent, but they do lose to Belgium. So let's move on. Finland. Um... So Finland, our team have been doing better and better. They've been qualifying for these big tournaments more and more. And uh, let's look at their most recent results. They have been winning against Bulgaria, Ireland, Bulgaria again, lost to Wales, tied against Ukraine, not bad. Uh, Finland, Bosnia, 2-2. Two -two. Switzerland beating Finland, Sweden beating Finland, Estonia beating Finland. That one hurts, and that's the most recent game we have. That leads me to believe that uh, they've been losing a lot recently. The last time they won a game was against Bulgaria. And they're rated number 54 in the world. And I think that that's just about right. And I think that makes them one of the worst teams in the tournament, to be honest. Um, moving on, we have Russia, number 38 in the world, with their uh, veteran manager at this point, Stanislav Cherchesov. And... I, I was really impressed with this team, the World Cup. They got all the way up to, like, the quarters of semis, beating out Spain. But uh, what are their recent results saying? Uh, so, Russia 1-1 won, won Turkey. Turkey's a great squad. 1-0-0 Hungary. 3-2 against Turkey, so losing. Uh, they lost pretty heavily against Serbia. They beat Malta. They beat Slovenia. They beat... I don't know. They lost against Slovakia. Tied against Poland. Won against Bulgaria. And I don't know. Those stats don't look great to me. They almost always concede a goal. And knowing that most of the teams in this group, especially I'd say Denmark and well, Belgium as well, but maybe not so much, they, they're quite strong defensively. I think they can, I think Russia can pull some goals easily, but they're not going to be able to keep their net clean at all. I think that Russia is more of an attacking squad and they have a pretty interesting formation if you look on the right. But let's get into the results. Um, so I see Denmark, Finland going 
I think 3-0. I don't think... I think Denmark's going to put on a show against Finland. Next, we got Belgium and Russia, where I think it's going to be 3-2. I think that Russia are going to show their attacking prowess, but they're not going to keep their net clean, and Belgium's going to use their experienced players, and yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be a win. I don't know by how much, but I think that's going to be an exciting game. Moving on, we have Finland-Russia, and I think that Russia will just be frustrated by Finland. I think it's going to be 1-1. Although, if I had to choose a winner in this game, I'm leaning more towards Russia, just showing off their attack. Moving on, we have Denmark and Belgium. Uh, we've seen these two play a few times and just recently, like I discussed, and it's been two goals up to Belgium, and I'm going to stick with the same. Uh, line there so I think Belgium wins Russia Denmark I think Denmark is a more well-rounded team I do think Russia can score a goal against them but I think Denmark can score too so that's my prediction there and lastly Finland Belgium Belgium have been shown to uh, let in like one goal a game and I think that Finland are going to be overjoyed maybe they'll take the lead and then Belgium will show them in the second half with the three goals something like that 1-3. And what does that mean for our final results? Well, Finland comes in fourth place with one point, minus five goal difference. There's no way in my in my thinking that they make it to the knockout stage. Then we got Russia with one point. If they beat Finland, they'll get three points, which will help them towards that third uh, third place qualification. Four teams go uh, four third place teams go through. So maybe, but. If that if they do tie, they'll be sadly out for me. Uh, and then we'll head into our top two. We got Denmark in second place, six points, which will safely secure. I think any team winning two times secures them a place in the knockout stages and well deserved. And Belgium beating Denmark uh, obviously means nine points. And yeah, I don't see a world where Belgium doesn't make it the, apparently the best team in the world according to FIFA. So. That means I have Belgium coming first, Denmark coming second, and a potential third place qualification for Russia, depending on how their game against Finland goes. But uh, that's the entire video. Check out Group A if you are interested, and tomorrow I'll be releasing Group C. So subscribe for the Euro content on this channel, and I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.